This video will show you how to use a Google Calendar as your class calendar. And there are several reasons why this is a good idea for both you and your students. For you, it's easy to use. Google doesn't make more than $20 billion a year making things difficult for people. All of your planning can be in one place. Several class schedules can be shown in different colors on just one calendar. It's easy to copy one event to several classes. It's easy to reschedule events. And not only that, the Google Calendar can even send you email reminders. I guess last but not least, you can put your class calendars on your SchoolWire's teacher page. So every time you edit your Google Calendar, the calendar on your teacher page will automatically change. How many times have you been asked if a student knew what was expected of them? Since you make a calendar of your classes as you plan anyway, why not use a Google Calendar and without any extra effort on your part, students, parents, and special education teachers will know exactly what's going on in your class. It doesn't slice, dice, or make julienne fries, but it solves a lot of problems with just a little effort. The first step to creating a Google Calendar is getting a Google account. You may have one already, in which case I would suggest that you set up a second one with your first class email account. Go to Sign In on the Google homepage and then click on create an account now. All you have to do is put in an email address and a password to create your account. After you've created your Google account it will send an invitation email to your first class address. Then you can use that to sign into Google, get to the calendar, and it should look something like this. You'll notice up in the top right there are tabs that will change the view. Sometimes it's easy to use month because you can see everything clearly. If you look in the bottom left you can see the calendars that are included in this calendar and the base one will be the name that you use to create your Google account. To add a class, all you have to do is click Add, Create a New Calendar, and name it. You can name it with the course name, or I'm just going to use first period here as an example. You will make this calendar public. That way you don't have to fool around with permissions. Then create the calendar. doesn't matter that it's visible to the world because you'll be showing everybody what's in that class. And there's you have one class calendar. Now add calendars for each of your other classes. After you've created each of your class calendars, it's easy to add events. All you have to do is click on the date, and you can type in the event and cr choose Create Event or Edit Event Details. It'll give you more options if you choose the detailed view. So you can put down any event. That's what will appear on the calendar. If you want to put more detailed information, you can put it in this description box. And then just choose the calendar it will appear on. If you want to get an email reminder, you can just choose email and choose how early you'll get that email, then choose save. There's the unit one test. If I want to copy that event to the second period calendar, all I have to do is click on the event and choose copy to my calendar. And this will create a copy on the calendar I choose. So if I choose second period and then save, there's that event. To change a date for an event, all you have to do is click on it, edit the event details, and change the date. Click save and then it's moved. If this calendar gets too busy, if there are too many events on it, you can choose to have some calendars not appear. I can take off the second period's calendar from this view. Now there's really no payoff here until you get this calendar to appear on your SchoolWire's homepage, and this is how you do it. Open up Microsoft Explorer, go to the homepage for the high school, and sign in. I'm sure everyone remembers their password. Then you can go to the Site Manager which opens up another window which will allow you to edit your page. When you get to your teacher page, choose the welcome page. That's the one you're going to edit. And then go back to the Google page. What you need to do is get the code from this calendar and insert it in your SchoolWires page. Go to Manage Calendars and then look at your base calendar. And notice here on the bottom where it has Embed This Calendar. We want to follow the link to customize the color, size, and other options. And you'll get a page that looks something like this. The reason you have to get to this page is you have to go down to the calendars to display and unclick the one that is the base calendar and click for each of the other calendars, each of the class calendars you've created. Once you've done that, you need to click the Update HTML button. And you need to copy the stuff inside this box. This is a bunch of gobbledygook code that will allow the calendar to appear in your SchoolWires page. What you need to do is just right click and copy. Then go back to that SchoolWires homepage and choose View HTML. When you 
click View HTML, you'll see the gobbledygook the code that's behind your page. All you have to do is find a spot on that page and click Paste. You'll notice that the gobbledygook from Google showed up here in this page. You want to click Apply and then OK. Then click Save. Then you'll notice that when students go to your teacher page, all of the events will appear on your calendar. And students can click on any event to see the description that you've typed in. If they have their own Google account, they can even add these events to their own personal calendar. But that's not where the real payoff occurs. As you add events to your calendar, it will automatically show up on your SchoolWires page. Take a look at this. If I add an event here to September 9th, and I add it to the first period calendar, and then I go back to the school wires page and refresh this page you'll notice that the new huge test event shows right up on the calendar so by using a Google Calendar you'll have a place where you can do your planning and the students can keep track of the events special education teachers can keep track of the events and parents can see the events and it's just that easy